actually became a game designer because of Glorantha. My first published game, Call of Cthulhu, was first conceived as an expansion for the Gloranthan game RuneQuest. I was lucky enough to participate in Glorantha's expansion and development. God's War is like Cthulhu Wars in the most important ways for gamers. It's very asymmetrical, maybe even more than Cthulhu Wars. It's got amazing physical components, it's got the huge dynamic figures, and all the quality you expect from Peterson Games. God's War's core game rules are simple, like Cthulhu Wars. The depth of the game comes from its asymmetry and the interplay between the factions, their gifts, their weaknesses, and the huge events that happen that change the game for everyone. Cthulhu Wars is savage, like hyenas tearing into a carcass. God's War is more refined. It has shifting but real alliances and cosmic events where everyone has to participate. Some of the major differences are that you earn power completely differently. You earn your victory points completely differently. The, uh, there's no equivalent of a cultist. You're actually building an infrastructure with cities and buildings and temples. You have runes instead of elder signs, and the runes give you abilities you can use to change the course of play. The actions don't function the same way, and instead of neutral gates anyone can control, you're actually building temples and shrines and establishing an infrastructure on the map. God's War takes slightly longer to play than Cthulhu Wars. A four-player game of Cthulhu Wars is typically 90 minutes. A four-player game of God's Wars is about two hours. You're still always active, you're never idle, you just have more things to do.